times difficulties are encountered during vitrectomy because of the hazy view. This video intends to highlight one case where vitrectomy under air significantly improved the intraoperative view. A 71 year old male presented with non resolving vitreous hemorrhage with lasered proliferative diabetic retinopathy in the left eye. The right eye had no light perception secondary to the old fractional diabetic retinal detachment. In his left eye, he underwent sutureless vitrectomy with membrane peeling and silicone oil tamponade. The surgery was uneventful. However, he had recurrent hemorrhage under oil in the immediate post-operative period. He was observed for two months for the clearance of the hemorrhage, but it persisted. Therefore, removal of sub-silicon oil hemorrhage along with silicon oil exchange was planned. After silicon oil removal, the view was very hazy because of continuous bleeding into the vitreous cavity. Also, a few blood clots were found to be adherent to the underlying retina. Due to the poor view, it was extremely difficult to clear the hemorrhage. To overcome this, fluid air exchange was done and vitrectomy was continued under air infusion. Air tamponade stopped the bleeding, permitting a better view of the blood clot. Additionally, the retina periphery could be better visualized. All blood clots were gently removed, avoiding any pull on the retina. In this patient, air interface vitrectomy helped to provide a better view. Endolaser photocoagulation was performed followed by silicon oil injection. At the end of the surgery, the retina was attached and the laser marks were seen. Usually fluid air exchange is used for performing endolaser, drainage of subretinal fluid and tamponading the retina at the end of surgery. As the refractive index of air is 1 and that of the fluid is 1.33, a wider view of the retina could be seen under air than that would be seen under fluid. The surface tension between air and retina is high as compared to the fluid retina interface and so identification of the residual vitreous improves under air. Additionally, air also reduces the migration of infusion fluid into the subretinal space. The chances of iatrogenic breaks under air are also reduced as compared to standard vitrectomy. The disadvantages of under air vitrectomy include fogging of the intraocular lens during surgery if a posterior capsular rent is present and migration of the air through the zonules into the anterior chamber. In this patient, after oil removal, the visibility under fluid was very poor due to active bleeding. However, after fluid air exchange, the visibility improved because of the low refractive index of air and high surface tension between the air and the retina interface. The bleeding also decreased significantly due to the air tamponade. A good surgical outcome could thus be achieved.